Hello, this is Chase Pelagi. Thank you for tuning into my channel. And today we're going to have a quick look at the XS 24-7 Big Dots. These are made by Trigicon. So, um, real quick, let's just take a look and just show you here. Uh, now, as you can see, the rear sight is kind of the shallow V. Here we go, some focus. And it has a notch there, which happens to be tritium. Okay, now there's different... Uh, options available where that rear sight you can get in just kind of a standard contrast and then the uh, the front sight is obviously a big dot okay now just for size comparison that's just kind of a a standard uh, a standard sight there so you can kind of see what they're going for so who are these sights for um, these sights have a very specific use and that's going to be a, uh, a defensive sight um, it's, you know, the, the f large front sight is just going to aid in quick sight acquisition, and moreover, they kind of naturally assist in the focus on that front sight, which is really a key component to shooting combat effective shots in quick succession there. Now, as a matter of fact, most people who have been in a gunfight report that they don't even use their, their sights at all, okay, which is very interesting. Now it's this reason that many instructors advocate front sight shooting um, and for that kind of shooting these sights are absolutely fantastic alright now the idea behind front sight shooting if you're not understanding it instead of lining your rear sight up and your front sight up and then on your target you have three points of contact essentially you just put that big dot on your target uh, you know, pull the trigger and you're going to be somewhere in the realm. That's the whole idea behind it anyway. Now, um, anyway, what I was going to say is what I've spent a majority of my training uh, training it with either like three dot sights or something like a Glock sight or something like that. So when I pick a gun up, I, I don't think about it. I don't do anything. It just naturally falls into place. It's almost like a muscle memory. I guess what you could say is I confirm peripheral, peripherally or maybe even subconsciously with the rear sight, but I'm focusing on that front sight. Now, it was a little bit different with this because you you have this this notch now and, and this post that you line up. So it was a li it took a little bit of getting used to. So what I did in that transition period is I took some uh, red tape, uh, tiny pieces of red electrical tape, and I put them on each side, okay? And I just kind of naturally went to that until I, I, I got it figured out there. Now, the one thing I did notice with this, now, like I said, it's, it is a defensive sight. Um, as far as uh, accuracy is concerned, now, I found that I could get very accurate shots, you know, in, in close if, you know, you paid attention. I mean, all you do is you, you'll see that there is a smaller dot inside of the big dot, which is actually the tritium vial in there. All you do is you, you line that up for, for more precise shooting, and I found that to be very effective. Now, one thing that I did find, especially right now, while well, these are kind of, it's hard to focus on both the rear and front sight there, but when, when you're at full extension in, in your, your shooting position there, and you're trying to... Uh, shoot a target way out there. One thing I have noticed, I don't know if this will pick up on camera, but the, uh, let's see if I can get this to focus here. The, um, this rear sight, I've got to get some, there we go. Notice how it's kind of, uh, I, I don't know what to say. It's, it's kind of bubbling outward, okay? Uh, convexed, I guess. Um, what happens is it kind of gives you a false positive in you know different lighting it's really hard to explain it's hard to line it, line it up in some instances okay that was one thing that I noticed now I guess I kind of had to do that for that tritium vial in there but I just thought that was kind of uh, just kind of weird because it kind of bubbles out but anyway um, just one thing I wanted to bring to your attention there now the uh, the tritium in it is really good I guess just as good as any other uh, night sight out there. Honestly, I think the tritium all comes from the same places. So I, I don't know if anyone's, you know, better or worse. I, I guess it's maybe the amount that they have in there. But, um, but anyway, these sites are going to excel, like I already said, in a defensive situation, but especially if you are uh, carrying your firearm. These obviously are not a competition site. Uh, so they have a uh, 
just kind of a, a narrow field of use, okay? But I tell you where else they would shine is if somebody is, I don't know, maybe older, they don't have the sight that they once did have. Um, you know, a big dot is nice to have there. So, you know, you're not, it just kind of grabs the eye a little bit better and it's just going to, to help you get shots off quicker. So, I mean, that's, uh, that's really it. I just wanted to have, a, wanted you to have a quick look at it. Um, they're actually very simple to install. Mine, I didn't have any problems with it. You just knock your rear side out, put this one in. I've heard some people have to sand maybe if, um, you know, sand the, the sight down a little bit if they got stuck. Mine didn't really get stuck and then you have these tiny Allen heads and it comes with this uh, red um, it's almost like a, a thread locker or a Loctite but um, it kind of keeps everything in place for you there. Okay now this is just kind of uh, uh, you know what the what the sights look like there. Okay and then on this side you kind of have that hex uh, if you've ever taken your front side off or messed with that. Um, I don't know you just tighten it in with a I don't know a key that they already give you. Um, but you're going to use you know that red Loctite on that as well. Uh, obviously I did not use enough because my, my front sight was wobbling there like I was saying. But all in all I think these are a great defensive sight. Once you get used to them and start figuring this out I think they are great. I, I don't think they're going to be for everybody. There, there might be a slight learning curve for some. But if you guys are looking for a, a defensive sight and uh, you know you're looking for something like that and you are kind of in tune to the whole you know, uh, focusing on the front sight for your shooting. I think these are a, a great option. If I could change one thing, uh, one thing I would probably do instead of this going on, um, I would have like a half ghost ring thing going on. Uh, not a full one, but just kind of a half, and then maybe um, dots on, on either side of that. Uh, I think that would make for a more versatile um, shooting system since most people are used to shooting like three dots or different sighting systems. I, I know this isn't that big a deal and I, I did get used to it but it did take a little bit of, of time like I said. But anyway that's just a quick look at them. Uh, I guess that's not a quick look but anyway <laughs> thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. If you guys have any questions as always feel free to leave your mark in the comment section. If you enjoyed this video please feel free to like, share, favorite, subscribe. Anyway, until next time, this is Chase Pelagi, signing off.